January wrap up time. This is the big stack of books that I read this month, as well as three audiobooks. So let's go through it and see what I thought. First book was Red Dragon by Thomas Harris. This is the first book in the Hannibal Lecter series. I did not know what to expect going into this, and it, I was very pleasantly surprised. It's set in the early 80s, and it really had me on the edge of my seat the entire time I was reading it. Psychological thriller is exactly the way I would describe it. Very suspenseful, and you get point of view from the detective and then also from the killer. So you kind of know what's going on, but you don't know how it's going to end, and I loved it. The Rules of Magic is the second book in the Practical Magic series. It came out quite a few years after Practical Magic, uh, but it's set in the 60s and 70s, um, and it's from the point of view of the ants. I loved it. I thought that it was such a great addition to the story, and I was very happy to get more into the Owens family and learn a little bit more about their lore. I highly recommend this. Next one is uh, Book Club Read, Yerba Buena by Nina LaCour. Uh, we kind of struggled with this in book club. The writing kind of struggled a little bit and the characterization was kind of hard to get through. I would say if you're looking for a sapphic love story, this is a quick one to get through, uh, but I wouldn't recommend this one. We read The Host in the other book club that I'm in, and it has that classic Stephanie Meyer love triangle in it, but it's set in a post-apocalyptic world where aliens come and treat the human race uh, like hosts for their parasitic bodies. And I thought it was really fun. The book club really enjoyed it, and I would definitely recommend. Wilder Girls is the second YA book that I read this month. It's by Rory Power, and it's about a girl's school that comes down with some kind of disease. Uh, they're sequestered to an island, and the CDC and the Navy are helping them as much as they can, but they basically have to fend for themselves. This book had a lot of like grotesque descriptions. I would characterize it as horror, uh, but it, I didn't really like it that much. I think that the writing didn't really go anywhere. The story was kind of hard to follow, and I wouldn't recommend. Next, I read Shiver by Junji Aito. This is a horror manga with short stories. I loved the fashion model and the balloon story. Um, the last story, the oil story, I will never be able to unsee those drawings. So thank you. I listened to If the Shoe Fits by Julia Murphy. This was a cute audiobook. It followed a young woman who just got out of fashion school and she doesn't really know what she's doing with her life. So she gets put on a reality show that's like The Bachelor. She falls in love with the host and you kind of see where things go from there. My January reading wrap up. Is everyone hanging out with me and other concerns by Mindy Kaling? I had very high hopes for this because I loved the Mindy project, but it really disappointed me. There was a lot of fat phobia in it and she kind of had a lot of hot takes that I did not agree with. A lot of filler and not a lot of substance. Next listen was Jackal by Erin E. Adams. This is a horror novel that follows a town that experiences young black girls going missing every year. It hits close to home for the main character and she tries to figure out what's going on. It was very scary. It had a lot of twists and turns and I was predicting the entire time, but I didn't know what was going to happen until probably the last 20 minutes of the book. Next read was Eric LaRocco's You've Lost a Lot of Blood. This is a horror novella that was spliced together by an editor following the disappearance of Martyr Black and his partner Ambrose. There are stories within it and poems that were written by Martyr Black. We find out some of the horrific crimes that this pair has committed. I would recommend this for someone looking for something short and disturbing, but I don't think it's required reading. You could definitely miss this one. After two horror novels, I needed a palate cleanser. So I read Matilda by Roald Dahl. This was my first time reading this. I would definitely recommend it. It was a very fun read. And I didn't realize all that dark history between Miss Honey Trenchbull and her dad that, I mean, maybe I missed that in the movie, but it was a surprise. The final book I read this month was I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. I was on the Libby waiting list for this several months, since May when it came out, and I was very excited to listen to it. The audiobook was read by Jeanette McCurdy. The memoir is raw and deeply personal, and I would say it was an important read. There's a lot of depictions of self-harm through an eating disorder and uh, abuse by her parents. Some of the descriptions were pretty hard to read, uh, so I would recommend, but with care. That means that I read 12 books this month. This might be my strongest reading month ever. Every month is not going to be like this, uh, but I am very excited to start the year strong. My goal is to read 75 books this year, and if I keep going at this rate, I think I'm going to crush it.